and there's a thousand of them, there's only one of me. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree, welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. Today you guys, today I am sticking with my theme. I bring to you some beautiful, amazing, romantic, Pretty Girl Spring Fragrances. I have about 10 here to share with you and two honorable mentions. So girl, just say what it is. Okay, I have 12. You guys, I really did try and stick at 10, okay? It, <sighs> It got away from me and I have a whole nother set to share with you next week. So make sure you go ahead, take 2.5 seconds right now. If you enjoy the vibe and you enjoy the content, hit the subscribe button and do not forget to press the notification bell. It will alert you every single time there is a new video placed on this channel, here on this channel. Okay, I cover fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous. You do not want to miss it. Without further ado, we are jumping in in five, four, three, two, one, right now. Okay. Now, we are starting with the beautiful one here. I haven't worn this in some time, but when I picked the cap up and took it off of this fragrance, girl, I was like, oh my God, you are such a beautiful, warm, yellow floral, fragrance and I want to share you with the girls and the guys on YouTube. Okay, man, woman, boy, child, human, we are here to serve, okay? This one here is Versace Yellow Diamond. I have Bright Crystal that used to be my gem scent. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance as well, but I do like Yellow Diamond. I used to reach for this all the time and then I don't know what happened. I got so many other fragrances. Let's just be real. You kind of got pushed to the back. I know, I know, but don't, don't fret. You are here now. That's all that matters. You guys, a little bit about this fragrance. It's very bright. It's beautiful. It's Citron. It's pear. It's bergamot. It's got some neroli in it. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's about moderate when it comes to longevity. I am going to say this, and this is for every fragrance. I overspray. Somebody said, oh my God, you shouldn't overspray. That's wasting your fragrance. They must have been new. I'm going to say it again. It's my fragrance. I do what I want. Okay, okay, back to the video. And just a PSA, just a PSA, just my POV. I mean, hello? Okay, anyways, so this is a beautiful fragrance. It's sparkling, it's upbeat, it's effervescent, it makes me happy. If you're looking for that easy reach, something to just put on Saturday, go run errands, like I said, the Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, Target, TJ Maxx, Nordstrom's Rack, picking up your clothes from the cleaners, dropping the kids off at soccer, whatever it is. It's a very casual, but beautiful, beautiful, upbeat fragrance that makes me happy. And that is Versace Yellow Diamond. I move on. Another one. <laughs> this one here is by Chanel and this is Gabrielle. This isn't Essence. This is just the original Gabrielle. This is a beautiful fragrance. I talk to a lot of you and you're in the medical industry or you're working in close quarters and you really aren't allowed to wear fragrance, but a lot of you say you do anyway. If you're looking for something beautiful, light, cheerful, definitely a beautiful, easy spring reach, as well as a summer reach, I would say and suggest try Gabrielle Chanel. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's a beautiful bottle. It's a white floral. We have top notes of mandarin, grapefruit, black currant, tube rose, ylang ylang, jasmine, orange blossom, sandalwood, and musk. It's a beautiful, effervescent, sparkling fragrance. Again, I would say I stumbled upon this when I was in the South Coast Plaza. Shout out to the South Coast Plaza. And it's beautiful. It's such an amazing fragrance. It's so sparkling. It's so upbeat. Now I'm going to say this. It is not the best when it comes to longevity. You are going to get maybe about a four and a half, five hour wear out of it, at least on me. Um, it's okay. It does sit close to the body. It won't project really loud, but we're not looking for projection, um, especially in the medical industry. You guys were saying you want something kind of subtle. So this will be subtle. It, would, it will sit close to the skin and it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Now, if somebody came in your close proximity, um, you got close and personal, it will be something that they will smell and it will be very inviting. So I would definitely highly recommend Gabrielle Chanel for spring summer. If you want to try something a little bit deeper, a little bit more richer, a little bit more depth to it, I would say try the Essence version. Once again, that is Gabrielle Chanel. I move on. Byredo, Bal de Fric. I love this fragrance. It is beautiful. I contemplated getting it for about two years because I was just thinking like the longevity is not good. Um, you know, it's a lot of money. It's expensive for the price point. I just didn't make, it didn't make sense to me. And you know, it has to make sense. If it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. And it has to make sense. So what I'm saying is that 
I played with it for about two years and then I went in one day to the mall and I sprayed it in the Nordstrom's and I did my wear test, I walked around and it would not leave me alone. I'm like, that's it. We're picking you up, we're taking you home. I've gotta have you and it is such an amazing fragrance. Now I do get a good, it's still not the longest you guys, but I do, and I overspray, but I do get a good six hour wear out of it and I spray my clothes so it will stay on your clothes, it will stay with you, but on my body, about five and a half, six hours, six hours, it, it's good, it's moderate I would say. About this fragrance you guys, it's lemon, it's black currant, it has some orange flower, violet, jasmine, vetiver, I wrote on here six to seven hours. So yeah, that's what it is. It's an amber musky fragrance. It's beautiful. To me, you do not have to wait to spring, summer to rock this. To me, it could be worn year round. I live here in SoCal, so the weather does, you know, make it year round, winter, spring, summer, fall. But if you are looking for something to add to your collection, I would definitely give it a chance. I would highly recommend by Rado Baldifer. I move on. Now this next one, I don't need to spend a lot of time on. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's made many, 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 many appearances on the channel where I've had to sit it down and retire it a little bit, but I'm bringing it back. It wasn't in retired very long, you guys. Maybe about three, four videos I didn't show it, but hey, it's back again. It's a coriander, vanilla, cardamom, beautiful fragrance. It is a sister to Baccarat Rouge 540. This one here is gentle, fluidy gold. It is an amazing, luxurious, sexy fragrance in my opinion. Not my dark, heavy, sexy, but just more like a confident kind of sexy, like I'm doing it for me. It gives Lux vibes, it gives I've arrived, I'm here, I'm not new to this. You already know what I say, I'm true to this. It's definitely giving those type of vibes. I feel this pairs with any outfit, especially, I rock this year round as well. But for the sake of spring and summer, I do wear this a lot. It's a beautiful fragrance. If you look at the bottle here, I notice I talk to a lot of you and you say to, hey, Sheree, what's up with the bottle? The color is different, yada, yada, yada. It has vanilla in it. Over time, vanilla does change as far as the color goes. So sometimes it'll be lighter when you first get it and then darker after you've had it for a while, especially if you expose it to a lot of sunlight or if you put it under direct light. So you just wanna know about that. But this one here is the real deal. You know, I love MFK and I order from their website all the time. So as I stated, this is a fresh spicy. It does have some nutmeg in it as well. Like I said, um, it's got the coriander note in there and I think that's what makes it so special in my opinion. If you spray enough and you wear it in the colder months, it can even be a little gourmand-like. Not really, but really like a really light gourmand because it's very rich. And oh my gosh, should this be my scent of the day? Oh my gosh, it's so good. Okay, some of them, like I said, that's why I'm trying not to take the cap off. Okay, you guys, I'm a rock. I, I talk about Joe Malone on the channel a lot, and I have two fragrances that I wanna share with you from Joe Malone today. Like I said, pretty girl fragrances, easy reaches, beautiful fragrances, and stuff that could be a tad bit lighter for those of you that are looking for it, because I do receive a lot of questions on clean fragrances, lighter fragrances, because I'm all about the deep, dark, and heavy, and you know, Szechuan pepper, and leather, and oak moss, and birch, and girl, hello, we are in spring. Can you put those aside? I put it to the side, but I'll be back. Anyways, you guys, Joe Malone Bluebell, a wild bluebell that is. It's beautiful. All I have is this little tiny sample here, but I have about five or six of them. So I don't feel the need for myself to purchase a full bottle. When I want it, I spray it. But it is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And I thought about it when I first, you know, got a sample of it. I was like, wild bluebell, like what is that? It's refreshing, it's a fresh floral, uh, has bluebell, it has white musk, and it's just like, um, it's like wood sage and sea salt. It's like wood sage and sea salt. It's a very refreshing, upbeat, uh, effervescent, easy reach out of the shower, pin your hair up, white collar shirt, let's go about the day. You're gonna smell clean, you're gonna smell fresh, you're gonna smell inviting, and this is not gonna be offensive in any way. Now the downside is, it's not gonna last that long. So it's not gonna be off-putting because it's not gonna last that long. Maybe about five hours, maybe four, I'm pushing it with five. Four hours will probably be it. I keep this little uh, travel spray with me in my handbag when I go out. And if I wanna apply it again, or if I don't smell it anymore, I'll just reach in the handbag and reapply it again. It is really good. It is full bottle worthy, but because I have so many samples, I probably will not buy a full bottle. But if you're into that fresh, clean, upbeat, it's, it's a happy fragrance too. It puts a smile on your face. And I love fragrances that can transport my mood and just you know send me on a different wave. And this makes me happy. It definitely gives happy vibes. It's not a sexy fragrance. It's not even, 
a romantic fragrance in my opinion. It's an easy, everyday reach. Put it on, no fuss, no hassle, and go. That's exactly what this is. Beautiful fragrance, definitely worth a whiff. That is Jo Malone Wild Bluebell. I move on. Sticking with Jo Malone, another one that would be beautiful. Now this one is romantic. This is definitely a pretty girl fragrance. I definitely find it to be very appropriate. I get a lot of questions on the channel too about teens or uh, younger adults like 20, 21, 20, I mean, you know what I mean, right? And so this one here would fit the bill for that. This is Peony and Blush Suede. That is this here, Peony and Blush Suede, which is a beautiful fragrance. It's a classic floral. It's a really pretty, creamy, rich, perfect for a spring wedding, perfect to wear to a spring wedding, perfect to wear shopping, brunch, uh, high tea, all the different events that we love to do, shopping with friends. Would you wear this on date night? You always know I ask myself, girl, are we wearing this on date night? <sighs> Let's see. It's the red apple in it for me. It's so pretty, it's so pretty. It's definitely a pretty girl fragrance. Um, and it's kind of seductive. It's seductive, it's sexy, it's luminous, it's classic, it's timeless. It's um, sophisticated in its own right as well. Like I said, this would be perfect for a signature scent, a work scent, an everyday scent, but it is luxurious enough to put on for, an, for a special occasion scent, such as your wedding. So I would suggest it for that as well. You can't go wrong with this. The only thing about Jo Malone's fragrances, as far as when it comes to these ones here, the ones that are the cologne intense and the black bottle, I do get more of a, um, longevity from they last a little bit longer these here don't last as long but what I have found is if you buy the body cream and you layer it it does project and it does last a little bit longer however the neat thing about their fragrances is that they do have mix and match so you can take just about any of their fragrances and mix and match it like the one that really does last long is what is it red red roses red roses lasts a long time and so does pomegranate noir oh my gosh that's one of my favorites but i typically only reach for it during the holidays but that one is long lasting as well they have so many amazing ones wood sage and sea salt is another one that's a very classic fragrance beautiful anytime anywhere any place a very easy reach so if you're looking for something on the lighter note and you're looking for something that you're not looking for it to be beast mode or suck you in the face when you come in the door Check out Jo Malone. They have amazing fragrances. I'm a I speak about this next fragrance every single spring, ever since I've got it. I spoke about it every single spring. It's no secret, it's Tiffany and Sheer, Tiffany and Co. Sheer. That's what it is. I love it for the bottle. I love it for the fanciness of it. It looks like a big diamond, and I absolutely love that. Black Currant, Mandarin, it has ylang ylang, and one of my favorite notes, which is Iris. Um, it's a bright, beautiful spring, sunshine, good mood. All of these are those type of fragrances. That's why I put this list together. A beautiful, upbeat, it's gonna make you happy. It's a very pretty girl, very easy reach, sparkling, luminous at the same time, luxurious at the same time. It's Tiffany, darling. Tiffany. Somebody told me, oh God, yes. And this one here, it's kind of like, um, what note would that be? The iris, something in here is very kind of sharp, but not in a bad way in a good way. And then it lingers on the body and it gets on. This projects moderately. You're gonna get a good six to seven hours out of it. I do spray heavy. Every time I wear this fragrance, I wanna wear it with a really nice white shirt, a collared shirt. It just has that look and it screams luxe. You know what I mean? But it's very laid back and it's very casual if you pair it that way. But at the same time, it can be very dressy where you can wear this to a spring wedding or summer wedding. Date night. On that first date that I told you guys about in the last video, remember where I said, we're not doing all that. We're not, we didn't show up for that. This is that kind of fragrance you can wear on the first date. It's definitely crowd pleasing in my opinion. It's a beautiful fragrance. This is one I would highly recommend to get a whiff of. I always say start with the sample, get a whiff, see what it does for you. For me, I absolutely love it and that's why it's in my collection. I move on. My Perfumes de Mali is another beautiful, rich, creamy fragrance. I always wanna say that this fragrance has peach in it only because the bottle is kinda of like peach if you could see that there, but it has no peach in it. It has the black currant, Bulgarian rose, floral notes, frangipani, plum, mimosa, vanilla, tonka bean, and sandalwood. It is a beautiful fragrance, and I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. It's such a beautiful fragrance. I haven't had this in my collection very long, and I have not had it in my collection during spring and summer. So I'm super excited to play with this. I wore it, um, I didn't wait for spring. I mean, because 
it was hot here already. So I've already worn it, I've already played with it. It's good, it does not have the beast power or the lasting power or longevity as Delina. It's not that strong, but it really, really is good. It gives you a moderate longevity. It's gonna give you anywhere from about six to seven hours. I'm gonna reiterate this time and time again. I do spray heavy, but that's what it's giving me. It sits close to the body, but it does project. It does give you a good arm's length distance. I was complimented on this when I wore it out. It is a very creamy, rich, fruity, floral, powdery, somewhat type of fragrance. And like I said, it's perfect for spring, early summer. To me, wearing this midsummer might be a bit much because it does have depth to it, and I might find that it's too warm for me on a summer evening or summer night, it would be perfect. A pretty girl fragrance. I move on. Now this one here, I've been playing with like crazy. I'm gonna, I'm just telling you right now, I'm gonna need another bottle. And you're like, girl, what is it? You guys, it's the Chanel, the fragrance mist. I absolutely love this. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I get out of the shower, I, I think I just love the mister. Girl, I just, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so good, you know what I mean? I know you're thinking, sure, it's just the body mist. You guys, it smells so rich. <laughs> it smells so luxurious. It smells like Chanel. It smells like their skincare, it smells like their makeup, it smells like the boutiques. It just has and has captured the Chanel, um, you know, vibe, DNA, whatever. But not the Chanel like, like Gabrielle Chanel, or not like, Coco Mademoiselle, or not like Chanel number no. five. It does not have that vibe. It has more of their, what would you say? How what can I say this? It has more of their like skincare line. It just makes you feel a certain, I have none to waste. It just makes you feel a certain kind of way and I love it. It has an impact on me. Truly, you can see that. And it is Chanel. I mean, I'm kind of being biased right now. You guys, it's good, good, okay? I know it retails for $110. It is now sold in Ulta, honey. You do not have to go all the way to the boutique. You can go right to Ulta or you can order it online. However, if you do order from the online boutique, the packaging is amazing and you are allowed to pick two free samples. It's one of the most luxurious experiences that, you know, I have received from receiving fragrances through the mail. You know, I'm not a get your fragrance through the mail kind of gal. I am an experienced person. I like to go shopping, I like to get dressed, I like to head out, I like to meet people, talk to people. I like to ask the client advisor, you know, what are what's the feedback? I mean, I like to know what I'm getting, what's, you know, what's the tea, like spill it. Like I wanna know what I'm investing in. So that's my purpose for liking to be out when I'm shopping for fragrances. But this one here, in my opinion, it's amazing. You guys, I don't know if you can see this, but this is a dent. Can you see that dent? You probably can't. You can, right? Wait, 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 here we go. Look at that. Do you see that? I did not come here to play, okay? <laughs> I love this fragrance. It's so good. Let me give you a few of the notes and then we have to go, you guys, because I have so many more to share with you. Okay, it's citrus, it's red berries, it's rose, it's iris, it's musk. It's soft, it's sparkling, it's upbeat. It's a pretty girl fragrance and it's a fragrance mist. I move on. Okay, okay, you guys, you guys, I was practicing this, okay, okay? Here I go, here I go. Don't make me nervous. Do not make me nervous. I was practicing how to say this next fragrance, the name of it. So you should just put a heart down in the comment section right now because you know I'm trying. But if you can really hear and I pronounced it right, put like a red heart. So that way I know, that way I know, okay? All right, here we go, here we go. God, why am I so nervous? Breathe, Sheree, here we go. Oh, okay. This is BDK, okay, on the glee. Okay, wait, let me try it again. I'm so nervous, I can't even get it out. Stop judging me. Okay, here we go. BDK, bouquet on the glee. It is this one here. All I have is a sample, not a sample, but I have a travel spray. It's amazing. It is a beautiful, pretty girl, everyday, easy reach, watery type of fragrance. And the color of the juice is simply gorgeous. It is like a pale, 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 pink, like if you ever get a French manicure, it's like the pink that they put at the French manicure. And I studied how to say that, and I was practicing how to say that name for so long, and I was like, cause it's bouquet, and that one I get, bouquet. Bouquet, on du glee, on du glee. And I was like, I broke it down, I'm like, BDK, Boudi on glee, okay? I tried, that's it, that's what I'm saying. I said what I said, I'm leaving it there, you guys, that's it. I'm trying over here. <laughs> <laughs> this has a longevity, it's moderate. It's not really long. It's gonna give you about four and a half, five, six hours. Um, it's equivalent to um, 
rouge smoking from BDK as well. Um, it's equivalent to Passe Soir as well. You know, they don't have the best longevity, but they're really, really good fragrances. So that's how this one is as well. This is perfect for spring, perfect for summer. This is, like I said, a pretty girl, anytime, anywhere, any place kind of fragrance. It doesn't have to be dressy, but it can be. It can fit the bill. It is very versatile. It's a fruity white floral. Let me give you a few of the notes in it. It has pear, strawberry, rose, jasmine, musk, cedar, and amber. Now looking at this and looking at the color of the juice, because I'm obsessed with Delina, the first thing I thought when I first got it and sprayed it was, oh my gosh, let me smell it and see if it smells like Delina. Actually, it doesn't smell like Delina, you guys. It actually has more of a reminisce of Chanel Chance Eau d'Andre. That's what it has the reminisce of. It's a beautiful fragrance. This is a bit lighter than that, in my opinion. Like I said, I have the EDP, but it's more equivalent to the EDT. And it's not as sharp as that one. So if you like that from Chanel, but you want something a little bit more toned down, I would suggest this one. I move on. Another one that's absolutely amazing, phenomenal, is this one here by Roja. This is Elixir. I get a lot of questions every time I talk about this fragrance on longevity. It is not a long lasting fragrance. It is going to give you about a five and a half, six hour um, longevity, at least on me. However, I don't mind decanting this and taking it with me if I wanted it to last longer. I don't mind ex I don't mind spraying it heavy on my clothes, throughout my hair. I just don't mind because it is such a beautiful fragrance. This fragrance has some of everything in it. The notes go on and on and on. Allow me to give you a few as you take a look at this beautiful bottle. It's a fruity, soft, warm fragrance. A few of the notes are bergamot, lily of the valley. It does have rose de mai, raspberry, peach, cinnamon, cedar wood, vanilla, and musk. It is a beautiful fragrance. I hope you're able to see this. The gradient of the bottle, the gold, the attention to detail. We are speaking about Roja, dear. This is Essence. Okay, so this is Elixir Roja Essence. Oh my gosh, I am trying it today. Not Essence, people. Okay, Essence. Okay, I was, I was looking it up. Okay, I, 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 hello, I'm trying over here. This is beautiful. Now this is luxurious. This is something that's kind of dressy, kind of fancy, but at the same time, you can wear it in, every day. It's definitely a pretty girl fragrance. I do get luxe vibes from it. I wore it the other day and I was just like, oh my gosh, I, I smell like I should be going somewhere. I should be doing something. And I was just wearing it around the house to familiarize myself. And it just made me feel like, oh, I should be doing something. I do think this is signature scent worthy. I do feel this is good for the ones that do not like a strong fragrance, but you want something beautiful. You want something classic. You want something timeless, something sexy, something sensual, something seductive almost like an oriental fragrance is what it has or has been compared to but it's much lighter that's where the essence version steps into play this is not like the eau de parfum it's a little bit um it's a lot lighter than that one but this one here um you can wear anytime anywhere any place but for me i just get dressy vibes but if you're looking for a signature scent that you can rock all the time and it wouldn't be in your face off-putting uh invasive in pre people's personal space i would say give this a chance this next one is in here because I just want it in here. How about that? I have no other excuse to put that it's a beautiful fragrance. It's perfect year round. If you only had one fragrance in your life other than Baccarat Rouge 540, this would be a great choice to have. It's iconic, it's classic, okay? It's chic, it's sophisticated, it's elegant. Can you guess what it is? Of course you can. It's Chanel, Coco Mademoiselle. <laughs> I love this fragrance, you guys. A lot of times I hear people say so many things about this fragrance. It is amazing, okay? And I talk to so many people who absolutely love it. If you are thinking, I just wanna buy something I can rock year round, but I do wanna invest in something new that will be good for spring, but I don't wanna only have to wait until spring to rock it. This would be a way to go. It is very pretty. It is very sharp when it comes to patchouli. I will say that it's a sharp fragrance in general. Let me give you a few of the notes just so you can know and then we'll talk about it. It is orange mandarin, bergamot, orange blossom, Turkish rose, a jasmine patchouli. It has tonka bean, it has vanilla. It's a beautiful fragrance. And when you talk about long lasting, this is holding you tight and it's never letting you go. This isn't going anywhere. This is that friend that's gonna ride with you. When you're like, how did we get home last night? She was like, girl, I brought you in, okay? I took your shoes off, like we're here. This is that girl. This is this girl that's just not gonna leave you. You're gonna look around and wonder like, oh my God, did she leave? Oh no, oh no, she'll slap you in the face. I'm right here. If you were looking for me, I'm right here. This is that fragrance. It's a pretty girl fragrance. It's a pretty woman fragrance. Yes, it's popular. Yes, half the world probably owns a bottle. So what? Big deal. 
Nobody's going to rock it like you. There's only one you and there's a thousand of them. There's only one of me. Who said that? Kanye West, right? If it was Kanye West, let me know. I don't know who, if, if it was Kanye West or Jay-Z. There's a thousand you's. There's only one of me. I think, I think that was Kanye West, if I'm not mistaken. So who cares if somebody else rock it? It's only one of you. It's a thousand of them. Okay. Rock it and own it and rock it with confidence. That is this one here. I'm closing the list with Coco Madam Muzak.